and industry leader through five decades. Ogden Mills' Denny Phipps followed a deep-rooted family tradition into horse racing that dates back to the 19th century and includes his great-grandfather Ogden Mills and his grandmother Gladys Mills Phipps. More recently, Phipps shared his passion for the game with his father, Ogden Phipps, and his late sister, Cynthia Phipps. Hall of Famer Shug McGahee has trained for the Phipps family since 1985. Obviously, I was thrilled when I got the job to train for the Phippses, but I had no idea that <clears throat> what a family they really were, how good they were going to be to me, and what a, you know, what a run we would have with the type of horses we, you know, I mean, I had an idea that, you know, they had the pedigrees and this and that, but aside from the horses um, and what they've allowed me to do and the freedom they've allowed me to have with them, but just being personally involved with the, with the Phipps family, from Mr. Phipps to Cynthia Phipps to Denny and his family has been something that's been very special for me in my life. In 1989, Denny campaigned his first champion, two-year-old Rhythm. The following year, he would take Saratoga's most prestigious race with a strong late rally. On the extreme outside, here comes Rhythm. They pass the eighth pole, the mile 36 and two. Rhythm gaining ground on the outside of Sir Richard Lewis gets the lead. Sir Richard Lewis now second, then shotgun Scott as they approach the wire with Rhythm in front. Phipps has owned and bred several champions and one is enshrined in Racing's Hall of Fame. Retired with a 14 for 17 record, Inside Information's final race was a smashing effort in the 1995 Breeders' Cup Distaff. Inside Information turning it into a runaway. Mike Smith asked her for run, and in an instant, the response was devastating. Inside Information, whoa, look at this, a colossal victory. And Heavenly Prize, her stablemate will be second. Inside information won by a dozen lengths. Phipps' involvement in racing has gone far beyond owning and breeding. He served as Nyra's chairman from 1976 to 1983, earning an Eclipse Award of Merit in 1978, and was chairman of the Jockey Club from 1983 until 2015. His leadership at the Jockey Club has been instrumental in addressing the game's most important issues. Beginning immediately, the Jockey Club will reach out to other like-minded organizations in the industry to devise a strategy and fund its implementation so that thoroughbred racing will have a true national uniform medication program that brings both integrity and pride to our sport. As we leave here today, we shouldn't be asking ourselves if we can afford to build such a program we should be asking ourselves if we could not afford to do it. What he's done, uh, first of all, he took over a very different jockey club 32 years ago, which at that point was doing just breed registries. Uh, he was very instrumental in the founding of the NTRA uh, and the Breeders' Cup. So he's been involved in pretty much every major initiative that the sports had. And, and then he's owned a lot of great horses that uh, I know have given him a great deal of pleasure, but have given other people pleasure too. So it's quite a career. And here comes Orb on the outside, now to take the lead as they come down to the 16th pole. It is Orb in front from Normandy Invasion, My Loot and Golden Soul between horses, down to the wire, Orb! 